Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my Korea series in EU4. Some pause here. And who could just declare. Who? Oh, I'm. Okay. I thought someone declared war on Jin Zhao before I could. But it was just telling me I had the cozy. The cuz. Uh, CB against him. Cozy belly. Cause his belly. That's. That's the right pronounce. Uh, let's see what tech. Administrative, yeah. Oh, I am. There's. Okay. If I take it before Renaissance hit. And that also reminds me. Grasslands, grasslands. More grasslands. Farmlands. My capital is farmland. How developed is it? Pin? Once Renaissance hit, put the uh, development edict on Western Korea and uh, dev up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, take your mil, mil tech. That reminds me, is there, is it achievement? Cause I'm starting to remember about Korea, right? And I don't know if it was an achievement or if it has anything to do with how the game... Only this, uh, in here. Okay, let's protect. I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to move that with the mouse wheel or without the mouse wheel. Okay, let's trade. I got something for merely prestige and uh, legitimacy for developing my capital. Okay, here it is. Here's what I was um, just thinking about. Korean self-reliance, say. Korea imbalance until the end of the game, which gives me negative, uh, negative 2 unrest. Stability, negative 10% uh, stability, cost modifier, and diplomatic reputation. It's pretty good. So it has to be a core. The culture is Korean. And when the following must be true, you have an. Okay, I have to have a hundred K army. Has to be a hundred percent of the force limit. Oh, one of the following must be true. So I have to have a hundred K army or a sixty thousand K army. Okay. Maybe Ming, this might play my favor. Ming dip, um, diplomatically isolates Jin Zhao. Well, probably not. Let's see, you're allied with Yuren and Quarchen. And let's go here, and I love that they added the little search thing here. Let's see, Korchen, uh, that just brought me up. Korchen has 12,000. Is it Udegi? No, it's, it's uh, Korchen and Yuren. And Yaren has 4,000, okay. Do they have any troops left? No. 
No, no, they don't. And when's our truce over? Oh, in January. Okay. There's your mail tech, friend. Okay, this this uh this is gonna end well. Let's uh It's gonna take a little bit. I say around August I'll stop by uh, training them. And then uh head up through here to you Yukshin. Do I have enough favors with you? No. But with the way that this is playing out, I don't think I necessarily need to. And also I have like 60, so let's go ahead and get another claim. Oh. Yes. Sure. Uh, let's flab. <laughs> I was about to say flabricate. <laughs> let's clabber. Uh, now I can't say it. Fabric fabricate a claim on this province. Hmm. So I think uh, to start the war we're gonna have to use uh, the CB on uh, for Dan because I can't siege this down. It's already sieged by Ming. Oh, it's already right, September. Alright, you guys stop training and march up here. Hopefully this doesn't backfire and I lose. But with them so weakened, I don't think it's going to matter because like Korchin is allied with Jin Zhao as well and uh the young Bing lose ten influence and that's yeah the nobles has happened. They want their... Yeah, there you go. Uh, our truce has expired and now it's... Now it's time to go ahead and declare war. And their allies won't come on them or, or they won't uh, they won't come into the war either. So, yeah, this is, yeah, this is bad for them. Uh, let's go ahead and split the army up to about four of you. Uh, which one's got my general? You, I want. That doesn't matter. Go ahead. Seize down the capital. How many men do I need? None. Okay. Well, China will come and help me siege it, and hopefully because, yeah. And then let's just sit here then, because China sh should help me siege it, and then it will become mine. 
And hopefully this war with China ends. And then I can just take out the rest of the country. And of course there's a 4,000 stack down here. With a two-star general. And I'll abolish the tax, which cost me 54 ducats. Hello, friend. How you doing? I'm gonna have to ask you to uh, meet my ba uh, army in battle. Now the real question is, how good are there? Is there? Uh, okay, so they have a small army, but. So let's see. They have a higher tradition. Their discipline's higher. And their morale's higher, so hopefully this works out. <laughs> oh they're gonna Are they going Ah, oh, I didn't even realize. I just attacked them in the mountains. And my military leader died. Okay, I won that, but just barely. Yeah, I'm not sieging down your. Let's see, wait till he gets in the country. Yeah, that was a bad choice. Yeah, I simply made a very bad decision right there. Luckily, I barely won. Alright, since we're just sieging, let's speed this up to speed 4. I gotta be more careful about that. Because this entire area is in the mountains, isn't it? Yeah. And there it is. Okay, I'm... Seriously, gonna have to really carpet siege this. Uh, or never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and turn around because now the Ming aren't helping me siege. Uh, let's go ahead and split off the cavalry. Cal, the cav. Uh, not that unit. I want the infantry. I guess we'll use them. Uh, to quash these small armies and carpet sage them. Uh, no. Oh, uh, you know what? Stay together. I still have their capital under siege and or under siege. I have tick four. They only got and their troops aren't consolidated. And they're getting attacked by my ally. Oh, they're gonna take my mountain before I can take them my mountain <laughs> They took the opportunity to pounce on them as well oh, this is... Hey you uh, friend Give me Military Yeah, friend, give me military access so I can screw you over in this war. I gotta wait for them to say yes. Oh man, I wanted that. That little area. This is my. Yeah, it's the WAF. 
și... Ok. Ok, 50 de pull points. Yeah, everybody's just pouncing on, uh, on them now. Since they don't have any units, uh, let's go ahead and take the horses and put them there. So they don't take attrition. And who else is on the siege? Me? Are oh, they just standing there? They're no longer at war with. Oh no no no. Okay. Misclicks there. Uh, they're no longer at war with them, right? Yeah. I don't know why Ming is just sitting on that capital still. Okay, there they go. Yeah, poor Donka. They'll get nothing. diplomat yeah we're still getting uh, taking more score because we own the uh, province the good harvest uh, you know what let's uh, Invest the money because I have a my currently my economy is is okay. Early game, okay. Now I'm not sure if Dunk How will tr actually take that land. I just lost my good leader. Oh, we sacked the city. Ooh, don't. The first one's better. Yeah. Alright, so guys, how's this, uh... It's going to work out. So what point did the states kind of uppity? A hundred percent, right? Influence? Yeah. Uh, which one is it? The neo Confucian? No, it's the scholars. Okay. They gain uh, 10 loyalty, which is this over here, actually. Has nothing to do with influence. Yeah. Protection of a powerful empire is a help not only against enemies abroad in the military sense, it's also a firm and clear signal to the political groups of our kingdom. It tells them that our king is sanctioned by the emperor of the Ming and lends some of his splendor to us. Yeah. I'll take the uh, prestige and loyalty. Which actually gives me better tax modifier. You'll see for Dan, Xiaoxing. Actually, let's see what we can take out of them because this war is not going to end until I can't take anything. And I want in my. That's sad because it's uh, special to my people. <laughs> uh. Do I not want to take that one? Because I know if I leave this one, they're just going to take it. Oh, 
Will the Ming protect me if I cause? <laughs> Hopefully. I'll let them have that one. But I want the rest. Because I'm greedy. And then take all their money. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. So I lost 6,000, I lost more men than them, probably because of that stupid decision of attacking them in the mountains. Well, we lost the Kazi CB against them, yes, and yes, and then let's actually, oh yeah, they're pretty mad. But I'm a tributary. Will the Ming protect me? Hopefully they will. And let's go ahead and put someone on outraged countries. As well as neighboring countries. And then let's go ahead and make all these cores. 21. It's mainly the separatism. Unfortunately, I didn't get this province of. Oh, it's, it's just Jin Zhao. Yeah, I didn't get Jin Zhao. I wanted Jin Zhao. The Hoxi had to come and attack the corpse. Yes, yeah, sure. You can uh, have it. Corruption is growing. Let's go to this root out corruption. Go down here. Since I don't have to worry about them, let's actually. It's easier if I come here and just click Mothball on my fort. Because I don't see me going into the war with that much aggressive expansion in a little while. So, yeah. Okay, it looks like my balance corrected itself. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't corrupt I can lose that much for a while because I have money saved up and I'm pretty sure all that corruption is coming from uh, over extension yeah let's have them cord I'll um, once they're cored, I'll uh, go ahead and give them uh, autonomy, which uh, is going to make this less of a problem right there. And it depends on how fast that actually pops, too. Because uh, it's going up pretty fast. I'm going to have to probably harsh treatment it. Let's see, six years and I get a new government reform. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and give them the file for Diplo. And the Renaissance pop, by the way, so let's go ahead and Western Korea is yeah, it's the correct. Let's go ahead and do uh courage development in this province. This probably won't cost me Pretty sure that cost money. Right. Ex cost how much extra? Well, tell me here. Mm. 
Yeah, it's gonna cost me. Yeah. A little bit more to keep that up. I guess the prestige again. Because I'd rather lose prestige over monarch points. They want my provinces, eh? And it's already at 80. Is the worst at actually. Actually, is this an area or let's see? Can I put you on rebel suppression? Wait, there's high unrest here? Is that what that was saying to me? No, they're... No, it would be. It would be a little bit. I don't remember turning on. Wait, was it auto? No. Ah, uh, now let's look at this. Um, can you suppress this area up here? Thank you. Hey, go ahead and suppress that area, friend. No, I don't need them. They gain 10 influence and 15 loyalty. What is their influence at now? So this is, uh, basically the burgers. They give me trade efficiency bonus, right? And development costs, yeah. Uh, you can have your 16 ducats. I was about to say buckets. <laughs> How long does that last, actually? Or no? I thought it was a modifier for some reason in my head. How much is that actually gonna go down? Quite fast, actually. Let's see. If there a couple of years, it should be gone. By that time, my capital should be pretty good. It's only 36 at the moment. But at the moment, I'm not going to take the chance. I'm harsh treating. That because we're almost we've almost got a cure uh, cord and then uh, I can hit the give them more autonomy okay what which ones I can give that one that. Uh, is this one cool? It's just two right here, okay. I don't know why I was asking, because the bars are right there. I know it's not going to give me as much money, but yeah. Pegu is going to attack Arakan. 
but I can't go with the rebels that are going to spawn here. And let's go ahead and give you your autonomy and Hmm. They make naval supplies in this inland uh province. The real question here actually is Should I? Because it's not as high as the other areas. I can't compare that. This place is devastated. Uh, we get rid of this, and it's a monthly change, and then also if you develop the province, it should get rid of it. I remember there was a way to tell how much money you had. Okay, it's right here. Point zero three. Hey, it's not that much. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the just so I don't have to deal with the rebels. I'm making one duck in a month. That'll probably update and tell me I'm making less. Yeah, there's your uh, tribute. Alrighty. And that reminds me actually, uh, how much should galleys cost? 0 0.03. Let's see. Three, six, nine, twelve. Fifteen. That's fifteen. Eighteen. Twenty-one. Alright, that's about the same amount that it costs to pay for one infantry unit. And I get comet sided. It's an omen. The end is nigh. The economy's fools. I wish I lived in a more enlightened times. I lived in more enlightened times. If only we had comet sense. Oh, comet. Devil's kith and kin. It doesn't really matter. It's all just lose one stability. Superstitious peasants. Yeah. Did that put me at negative or I gained one, I remember, right? Yeah. I'm okay for now. Wait, actually, is my... I have to own that province. Oh. The irony. Oh yeah, and the morale negative five percent. I forgot about that as well. Yeah, is anyone around here actually like me? What chin friend? Oh wait, that's way over my force limit. I can only have one more chip. I wasn't even thinking about my force limit, to be honest. I was just like, how many ships can I afford to pay for? Before it gets too high. Um, I'll keep that one galley, though. Okay, so here's what I wanted to do. Is anyone willing to... There's the closest. Ryuku. So... You've took my... 
We're gonna poke that. Looks like the back step's coming early. Other than I expected it to. Uh, because they took my special place. They took my mountain. No. No alliance for you, friend. Also, tributary as well. And rivals, unclick that. And let's go to. All right, this is what I want to know. I have a higher force limit than they do, and I can probably actually pay for more troops than they can. Um, because essentially, I have too few rivals. They already dislike me. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and. Who likes me the best? It was urine, right? They like me better. They're at war with Ming, though. Though they... Can be convinced to block me, though. Now, if they're pulled in for war, it's a no-go on helping them, but, uh... So, uh, go ahead. And actually bring back the diplomat. Who, uh, let's see. This is the one. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring that one back. I'll put him back on what he was on. Once this is done. I need some. I need some claims. And also this, this, uh. Hoxie is uh, my area, friends. I claim it. As well as Yarn, who are you allied with? I'll just let Tom go back for now. Donga. Well, they uh, they consider some of my lenders, so uh, let's go ahead and consider some of theirs mine. Yeah, let's take that one out actually because uh Yuren may actually want some of you Deji's land. Oh please let it be a good one. Oh a three five five. It's better than a two one one. Not the best consort, but Oh that's unfortunate. What did it get it up to? Uh, it's his high, mainly because of the aggressive expansion. Hopefully when that wears off, uh, we can have alliance with him. Alright, so looks like they're in their war with the Orats in Mongolia. I wonder if the Emperor's gonna get caught. I guess we'll find out soon. Yep, there's your tribute, friend. Ah, that. <laughs> Speak to the devil. Uh, Oriat tells us of the capture of the Ming Empire. Emperor. Emperor, not Empire. I don't know why I said Empire there. I just, I guess I saw the M EMP and just thought Empire. In a surprising turn of events, we discovered that the Ming Emperor was personally leading his army into battle. He was a fool to face us on the battlefield. He made short work of his pathetic, undisciplined soldiers and even managed to capture the Emperor himself. This could give us great leverage over the Ming government, but we must act quickly to take advantage of the situation. We must make haste to capture Beijing, where we will enforce our terms. So, yeah, okay. This gives them morale of armies plus 20% and siege ability plus 25%. 
25%. And if they capture Beijing, bad things will happen to the Ming. But I'm way over time, so thank you for watching, and goodbye friends, and sorry that it's a long episode. <laughs>